long has it been since we did any kind of get ready, makeup, skincare situation together? Here's a little bit of contrast. Let's get to work, hey? I'm looking a little bit shiny, aren't I? But I like that as a base. There we go. Let's do a giveaway. I have been so greedy. Good morning from me. How are you all? I hope you've had a really good week so far. How long has it been since we did any kind of get ready, makeup, skincare situation together. Like, I can't even remember. So here we are, barefaced. I thought we could get ready today. I'm going to meet a friend for lunch shortly in Cannes. So I thought, why not? Perfect opportunity to show you my current, everyday, basic makeup routine with some products that I love. Uh, let's start off with what I've prepped my face with. So last night, I'm looking a little bit shiny, aren't I? But I like that as a base. Nice, moisturised base. Last night, I used a little bit of facial tan after I'd washed it. Now, I've tried quite a few facial tans. I've got the Saint-Tropez Spritz. It's like a mist. Uh, it's nice, but I can barely tell I've used it and it washes off as well. Um, I've tried all sorts, but the one that I really do like, which isn't too, it just gives you a nice even glow, is this one. I will leave everything linked down below in the description box, so don't worry, but this one is the Biotherm one, and it's like a gel. It doesn't irritate my skin, like I said, it just gives like a nice orangey glow not too orange just a warmth to the skin um because i am very very pale so i don't know if you can even tell but i can tell that i've got this on it's nice just make sure you wash your hands properly afterwards because it does obviously cling to those dry bits like any fake tan so that's what i put on last night and then this morning after i've washed my face i have just smothered it with my favorite basic embryloise cream the sensitive one it's my absolute go-to um, and i love to use it as a makeup primer as well so that's what i've currently got on my skin guys oh and i've got a little bit of a balm uh, on my lips just for moisture the nux balm okay so i'm gonna go in with just a little bit of this dior skin veil um, it's the Duo Forever and it's got a little bit of SPF in there because we need some SPF on the face. It's nice this. I mean, the Dior products are quite pricey, I think. So I don't know if they're worth the money, but it is nice. I'm not going to rave about it. Again, this is just a nice primer for underneath your makeup and it adds that little bit of SPF, it's SPF 20. Okay, skin thoroughly prepped. This product I will rave about, I'm on the dregs. There's barely any left and this has lasted me, gosh, nine months. I bought this last summer and it is a little bit dark for me throughout the winter months because it's quite orangey, you know? I'll show you. So that's it there. It's got a real color to it, you know? Uh, which is perfect for summer when you've got a little bit of a natural glow. But in winter, like I said, I do find it a little bit orangey. Let me show you. You see that? So it's not rubbed in properly, obviously, but I have been mixing it throughout the winter months with the Dior Forever foundation. This is 2N. Again, I like it. Nice product. Worth the money? Not sure. They're very pricey. Um, but that one, I love. It's nice. It's a BB cream. It's not too heavy, but I do feel like it's got nice coverage. It seems to keep your skin like moisturized, hydrated throughout the day. It's slightly buildable and I just think it goes on lovely. I will 100% get 
be purchasing that again. Now, why didn't I get it in a lighter shade for the winter months? Because the only thing with this is I find the shade underneath this one, there's quite a big gap. It's quite pale and then the jump between that one and this one is quite big. So I just stick to this one. So I'm just going to mix a little bit of Dior foundation in there just to lighten it a little bit. I'm going to a restaurant that I've been to before which I love. It's in Cannes and the last time I went was actually on a Sunday as well. It's Sunday today um, and it's called Le Cavo. Le Cavo Trant. Le Cavo 30. And the last time I went they had a Sunday menu. It was 33 euros for three courses and oh wow it was stunning. Unbelievable. So I'm not sure maybe they'll have the same menu today um but yeah i'm looking forward to it i've not been for quite some time foundation on as you can see it's not too thick and cakey um but it just gives you a nice coverage still looks like skin i am obviously still quite shiny from all the moisturizer underneath but we'll sort that in a moment so I'm just going to pop a little bit of concealer under the eyes. This is the Dior Forever Correct Skin One. A little bit on the nose. These bits of the chin, I get a bit of redness and a little bit there. Next, I'm going to use this setting powder. Now, this is one to share with you because I do really like it. I do recommend this product. It's just a translucent setting powder. It's very blurring and mattifying. It's going to get rid of a lot of that shine where we don't want it. So this is by Makeup Forever. Like I said, I will leave everything linked down below in the description box if you want to go and check any products out. But... I just apply this quite thick actually because you can brush it off after and I do use like a little spongy and just get lots of product on there and then I'm going to set the under eye. So yeah, I'm just going to pop it on like that and just dab. You can brush the excess of this product off after i just leave it sat there till the end but it just blurs everything in fact i'll show you with the brush look at that blurred took away a lot of that shine i've just got these creases on the nose because the nose gets quite shiny. I'm going to pop some eyelash primer on, mascara primer. This is just a white one, which I love. I feel like a mascara primer makes a big difference. And I just let it set for a couple of minutes before going in with the um, black mascara. Love this palette all I've been using for quite some time well since I got it for my birthday actually of a very good friend it's by Huda Beauty um again I'll leave it linked and I just like all these warm like the beigey orangey neutrally tones that's what I like for every day over Christmas I was wearing the glittery one like the super pigment ones and I loved them brows I just give them a bit of a comb and just use like a dark brown pomade just to fill them in a little bit so I just wing this guys literally with a black liquid liner just to go over the top lash line and then just flick it up at the end. I've always done 
wind liner right from being at school just like that make it a little bit more drastic if I'm going out but that's pretty much it and then with a soft crayon liner that's what I do my under eye with and I usually start like halfway and just blend it out but I'll meet up with the wing so there we go that's quite thick I literally just smudge it out a little bit like that That will do today. Some days they go better than others. And then if you mess too much, there's no going back. They're clumpy, so that will do. The bronzer I am using is a NARS one. I will leave the shade linked down below. It's quite dark. And I'll just like pinch my brush into an angle and just sweep upwards. A little bit on the head. Now, my favourite blusher that is, uh, what do you call it, powder blusher, like set blusher, is the NARS one, shade Taj Mahal. It's gorgeous. I'll show you. It's like a orangey colour. Look how warm and toasty and glowy that is. Um, but the one that I have been using lately is the Rare Beauty uh, Liquid Blush, the Cream Blush. So this is the Rare Beauty one, which I have been using. You literally need a smidgen, like that is it. That is all you need. Um, another one that I love, which I got for Christmas off my nan as well, is the Benefit been a tint one but that's better for summer months because it's better when you've got minimal makeup on and um, it's quite watery that one but it goes on really nice and just gives you that real pinched sun-kissed look so let's blend that out look I told you you only need a tiny bit again though they just don't last as long as when you first apply them it's so annoying and I'm not one for like rubbing my face either. It's like they just sink in, disappear. There we go. Glowy cheeks. If only they could stay like that all day. Lip liner. Favourite lip liner is this one by Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, it's called Super Size Me. It's just a really gorgeous shade. Love a fixing spray. I do really notice a difference when I've used a fixing spray. It literally fixes everything. It sets the makeup in place for longer. So the one I'm using at the moment is Dewy Set and it's by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now usually I like the MAC fixing sprays and this is on par with them I would say. This is the choice of lippy of the day. It is Tropic Tonic by MAC. There we go. I do love a bright, orangey, peachy, warm lip. Jilvy of choice today. We're keeping it simple. We're going for my all-time favourite everyday earrings. They are the Mini Abbeys by Anna Luisa. They are dainty, simple, classic, timeless. I just love them. I have got multiple pairs of these in case I lose them. And I know so many of you that have ordered them and love them too. I got my mum some for Christmas. She adores hers. She's been wearing them all the time. Just simple, but really elegant and lovely. And guess what, guys? It's almost Valentine's Day. I thought it was about time I did a giveaway 
Let's do a giveaway. I have been so greedy with Anna Louisa pieces. It's about time I shared. In the latest delivery, we've got a new pearl set, one that I haven't actually got, but I've got to share. This is just, my jewelry box is ridiculous. If you don't know about the brand, guys, they are a very sustainable jewelry brand based in New York, and they just sell the most beautiful dainty pieces at an affordable price all the jewelry is tarnish free they're just gorgeous everyday pieces that slot into my life especially really really easily so the latest delivery we have got a beautiful little pearl necklace which is gorgeous for spring summer like wait till you see the matching bits to this simple go with everything you can't not love it Obviously, it all come in the amazing little travel pouches. Then, how sweet are these? Look at those. You've got a little moon and a star with the little matching pearl on there. Dainty, sweet, just adorable. And then, third part of the set is a beautiful matching little pearl bracelet and then how could i not include a pair of the all-time favorite mini abbeys okay so it's a great gift to either treat yourself with or treat a loved one with all you have to do to enter the giveaway is a few simple steps so make sure you subscribe to the channel first of all Secondly, go follow me on Instagram. And third, go follow Anna Louisa on Instagram too. And just to let me know that you've done all those three steps, because I will be checking, just leave a heart in the description box below. Let's say a purple heart, and I will contact one of you lot, whoever wins, and we'll get this posted out to you as soon as possible. Spritz of the day. We're going for Tube Rose Angelica by Jo Malone. This is a favourite. Haven't worn it for a little while actually, so I oh, love it. And then I'm popping a cardigan on. Let me show you. Don't know why I've never worn it. I've had it about, about two years and I haven't worn it. Actually, one of my um, Instagram followers messaged me. It's only from River Island, but they messaged me and said, Fern, there's this cardigan. You're going to love it. It sold out in River Island straight away because it's very Chanel vibes, you know? Um, and then they had it for sale somewhere else. Was it very, something like that? Anyway, she messaged me the link and I was like, oh, I love it. So I bought it, still haven't worn it. So I don't know why. I've just got a plain black outfit underneath. So black top, black jeggings. Reveal yourself. You. I just wanted to check that you think we're going over. Thank you. There. Nice. And then finishing it off with the old time favourite naughty classic bag, Chanel flat. Look of the day. It's a lovely OOTD, madam. front not quite as glamorous as that today but i'm excited nice to show a little bit of balance on the vlog i am off with ryan today on site he's starting a brand new job so i am taking 
full control of my new role. I'm going to be getting the before shots, uh, the guys working, um, basically just making a diary of the progress really so I can track it so I've got all the content ready to make the reels and everything he needs for social media. So I'm basically going around to check it out, collect content, get all the befores, put gym clothes on. Haven't quite got my hard hat and stuff yet, guys. Gonna have to get that sorted. But no, I joined obviously the gym last week, didn't I? But it's a chain. Luckily, there is a gym right near where we're going. Because we're all going in the same van because the parking's quite tricky around there. But I can toddle off to the gym when I've had enough, you know? So interesting, he's just dropped the kids off at school. I'm waiting for him to come and pick me up and I'm getting my coffee ready. I've got my protein shake ready to go. Everything's ready, guys, for a good day at work. I'll bring you along, might be a little bit of fun. But yesterday was lovely, catching up with my beautiful friend. We actually didn't go to Le Cabo where I thought we was going to go, but it was way better because we went to the beachfront, as you will have seen some little clips. They are all stunning along the beachfront and the weather was beautiful, food's always gorgeous and it was just a really nice Sunday afternoon. But hey, here's a little bit of contrast. Let's get to work, hey? Ready for work, hon? I am. Hey, we wifey. Are you ready? I'm ready. Morning. Look at me, you're doing all artwork. I'm doing all the artwork, that's what we call it. Yeah. <laughs> Today's Monday, what is it, right? Today's a big day. A big day. It's first, it's what the you first saying, day. Jono? A very big day. A very it's big the first day. day of the rest of our lives. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon? A hey, do cents change? Okay, cents change. Yeah. I sense change, actually. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a sock! Oh, it's an upside. <laughs> Perfect. I picked it up, so I to switch away. Ooh. I won't be upcycling that. <laughs> it's a trainer saw. Yeah. Nice. Thought it were a dead man. <laughs> Day one, new project in on team. Six weeks. No, you've already done that this morning. Ah. Yeah, I've got you doing that this morning. So this morning. Ah, yeah, yeah. F then I know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. I thought you wanted me to do the same thing again, but for something else. No, 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 no. Obviously, I'm making a reel. So I've got this morning's talking thing. In between that is going to be work. I need update. Okay. I was going to do Ah, right. Yeah. Day one's going pretty well. Day one on a new project in Antibes. We have six weeks to completely turn this apartment around. It was last renovated 18 years ago and we are going to bring it into this decade. Paint, new lighting, new flooring, new kitchen, new bathrooms, new ceramics, the lot. All in six weeks. out the kitchen, took some tiles off the walls, stripped out all the flooring from the front room. So we should have the complete ground floor stripped out today in six hours, which is pretty good going. When did I last check in with you? It was Monday. Went to work with Ryan. Had a really good day on Monday actually. We got all the content that we needed, um, he got cracked on with the job and luckily for me there was a gym two minutes walk from the job which is amazing because I'm going to be doing the odd day there over the next six weeks so at least I know that the gym's very close by 
and it was my goal this week actually to go to the gym every day Monday to Friday just a little challenge I've set myself and I don't know if I'm going to make it today it's really niggling at me um, just because Nancy's off school she doesn't do school on Wednesday she only has dancing Seth's got half a day of school so pretty much when we're finished here it'll be about picking him up from school Ryan's of course at work and not really an evening exercise kind of person, you know. For me, it kind of has to be before 2 p.m. Who is this? Hello? Hi. Hi. Why? Right, so what are you doing? Love you. Bye. <gasps> oh, do you know what? What a nightmare. All the um, school teachers keep going on strike. So Seth's turned up for his lessons and just last minute they've let him know that they're on strike. Certain lessons. Sick of this. I am sick of it. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm probably definitely not going to get to the gym today, hey? <laughs> probably cancel that one out my head and maybe go Saturday just to make up for it. Um, I'm going to go get my steps in, guys. Do you want to come? Do you fancy coming for a little walk? It's always uplifting and interesting on Can Beach Front. That's where I'm going to go. Need to nip to the shops once they open. Nip to Sephora because I have officially ran out of my favourite BB cream this morning so I need to go and get another one of those. people it takes a lot for me to be warm I'm always on the cold side um, I picked up my favorite BB cream guys and I actually did a little bit of investigating on the shades on the products because that's actually a product that I love and it's not very often I buy a skincare or makeup product and nine months later I still love it as much as the day I bought it usually I find that my skin gets almost immune to something and it stops working in the way like it does when you first try something but the Arborian range seems to be a winner so it starts off in shade Claire which is for fair skin with pink undertones and then it goes to shade Nude which is for fair skin with neutral or yellow undertones and then it goes to shade Door, which is the one I like. I'm probably not a colour match for Door, to be honest. But when I'm putting makeup on, I like to 
add colour to my skin and feel like I've got makeup on, you know? So, shade door is for lightly tanned or dark skin, it says. That's definitely not me, but I moisturise it right in. I don't put it on thick, so it seems to work. And I also bring it down a little bit onto my neck as well, and then with bronzer and powder, it works. So I like shade door. And then they go on to caramel, which is for deep skin chocolate which is for dark skin so they are the shades and i love it top product i am going to go ahead and finish off this vlog but i hope you've enjoyed me sharing all my top products and makeup routine and everything with you on this one thanks for catching up and checking in as always please remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already it means so much to me and it also just lets me know that you're enjoying the videos and gives me more of an insight into you lot um so yeah thank you guys and i'm also thinking about putting a q a together very soon as like a midweek video hopefully with ryan if he can make it if he's not too busy with work but if you head over to my instagram if you're watching this on Sunday, on Sunday evening, if you go to my Instagram, click on my story, I will leave a question box there for if you've got any questions. Just drop me a question in there. I will pick out as many as I can and I'll be able to get a Q&A put together. I thought that might be a nice change. Um, but I'm wishing you all a great week ahead. Send in lots of positivity and motivation. Stay healthy and I'll see you all very soon in